All right, how you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm trying to work two screens at once as usual. So if I'm looking down and to the left, then it's because I'm working so many screens at one time. Look, I'm not gonna hold you long. Um, we already live. We already have a couple people are joining us and more people to join us in soon. Um, this is pretty much the rest of this week. We do have a private group that meet on uh, a Why Wait to Be Great group meet tomorrow. And then uh, we got a bird group as well that meet on Thursday. Those are people that are actually buying, rehabbing, renting out, re, uh, re, uh, refinancing and repeat. All right. So that's what we have going on. That's our schedule for this week. And later on, I will have in our calendar for May. Um, basically, tonight is a good night because we're going to talk about the Chicago market. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I just got to send some emails out, some text messages out. Um, this is a pretty hot market. Uh, finding several motivated buyers, and uh, and you will see, and you will be the judge after we finish this presentation on, is this a hot market or not, and you will see why I'm excited, and I hope that you can feel the same way I feel about this market. Let me make sure I'm unmuted. Okay. All right, so let's go forward with it. Uh -oh. All right, so if you want to get in touch with me, I want to... All right. So if you want to get in touch with me for any reason possible, that's my phone number. You can reach out to me, text me, um, send a message, call, what have you. Um, also, we have a five figure formula uh, group. It's a Facebook community as well as a Why We Be Great community. As well as my link, that's my free link to meet up with. As well. So the most important thing that I would like everybody to understand whenever it comes to real estate. Some will, some won't. Let's see. All right. That's my way of saying it. Um, Ron LeGrand is one of the guys I follow. I pay for all his programs. And he'll say that some will, some won't. That's how he says. So I said, let's see. Let's take it a little step farther and let's take action and find out who will. Buyers are looking for opportunities everywhere. Guys, everybody want a deal. Everybody is trying to find a way to get out of their nine to five. Everybody's trying to find a way to make a passive income. Everybody is trying to find a way to say that, you know what, if my job lay me off tomorrow, hey, I have a way to make money. Literally, I talked to my my mom today and she was telling me the great news that my brother um, missed being laid off, right? They laid off folks at his job and he didn't have laid off and he feel happy about that and he's excited about it. And I'm like, well, 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 what if you had a skill set that you wouldn't even have to worry about? If they lay you off, you probably be like, thank you. Now I can spend more time doing things I want to do and I like it. Just think about that, right? We have the trainer that need to assist you with that. So we try and help you with knowledge. We try and support you, right? Then we try and help you learn more about investors and what investors want and become an investor as well. And then we try and get you to talk to motivated people, motivated people. So those are the three steps, right? You got to talk to people who want more, you got to be around investors who want more. And then you got to talk about people that's motivated to either take action or let go. That's really it. That's how this works. Find the people that need you to help them, right? And I want to see, I think a little while, if this Chicago market is that type of market, right? Is that this Chicago market, that type of market, you be the judge. All right, so Chicago, beautiful place right there. I would love to live off the water just as that. And as you can see in this right here, this is from highest to lowest, right? So this is mostly the saturated areas. A lot of folks right there. And you go on down and get a little lower, right? So we'll talk more about this. I just want to give you a snapshot of Chicago. All right, so affordable housing. This is this is our exit strategy. This has been my exit strategy since I started. Um, my brother Joe has finally adopted this exit strategy because he see how well it works. And we look at, if the government is going to pay me enough money to pay the, the rent, the mortgage, the insurance, and the taxes, then what expense do I really have, right? If the government pay enough to pay those things, right? So anything extra is a bonus. Anything extra is a bonus. So when the government give you fair house market rent, fair housing market rent, for renting out to Section 8 homeowners, I mean, renters, right, people that need that, and that's what it is. So this is a snapshot. This show you how it look from a far distance. This shows you zoomed in. <laughs> All the opportunities. Now, I bet you're saying, hey, why would I want to have a rental property if there's that much competition out there? That's a great question. That's a great question. I'm glad you asked. We shall see why in the future. 
We shall see why in the future. That's a cliffhanger right there. But this is not an opportunity to look from a far distance. This is how I look zoomed in. This is affordable housing only. Not to mention you got Zillow, not to mention you got property managers, you got all kinds of other sources out there renting properties. But this is affordable housing by itself. By itself, right? So why is it so many properties? This is why so many properties. Two million people. Let's say that. Two million people, right? 2,792,000 neighborhoods. That's a lot of folks in need of, a, of assistance. Most expensive in Illinois. Illinois is the most expensive properties. Uh, the workforce is 12%. Um, people work from home. So they work from home. 12% is working from home. And most folks want to work from home nowadays. Then you got extremely diverse communities. First community. So it's not all the same. It's, not, it's, it's a lot of different cultures in the same communities, right? Now, per capita income, that's pretty low, 41000 That's pretty bad. You got 2 million people there, and then the average money that's coming in the households of income is 41000 Wow. And a family any, uh, annual income is right about 167000 167000 So if you're a, a first-time homeowner, you probably buy a house around that price, one hundred and fifty, right? If you're a first-time homeowner and you're buying it, but that's what I tell you. All right, again, I told you we'll talk about a little snapshot of the future. This is what the future may hold: hard money loans. Um, we probably have a guest speaker, so that may flip flop. May first may be the speaker because a guy just texted me saying that um he he emailed me, but I couldn't find an email that's what I've been talking tonight. But he he may be on next week. If not, we'll talk about hard money loans. What are they and how you use them? Next, we'll talk about, we have a guest speaker. If, yeah, then we have maybe a guest speaker or what have you. And then we'll have Coach Joe present some more information. And then I'll come with a Williamsburg market analysis. That's the next one I'll do. Uh, we actually have a mentee that have a real estate license in the Williamsburg and uh, Virginia Beach and the Chesapeake area. So, you know, we already got a boots on ground realtor there. So I want to try and help her to still get deals. So I'm going to go there next with it because we know that she wrote this weekend. She wrote 18, um, three sheets full of vacant houses. All right. <laughs> three sheets full of it. And I think she's going to say she put basically 18 sheets, uh, 18 houses. She found 18 houses vacant. All right. And that's a little snapshot of all the means that we have, the other private money, means, private means. All right, so appreciating Chicago. I is appreciating Chicago neighborhoods. Why is this important? I zoomed in. So this is the same map. We zoomed in and we kind of want to know which one appreciating the most. So the darkest ones are the ones that appreciate the most. It's important to know when you're buying properties, what's your exit strategy? If you keep it as a rental, right? If you keep it as a rental, that means you're going to grow in equity over time and say appreciate. If you're fixing and flipping, you know that people probably want to move into those neighborhoods because they're going to have more equity over a long time. So it just gives you a, a good attitude, a good vision for what the future may hold. So if you already know what communities and what areas are actually appreciating and you can find a great deal there, that's a way that you know you can build a lot of equity if you decide to burn, keep the property and keep building equity, right? Building equity. You already know it, right? You're going to grow over tonight. And then if you know you want to do a fix and flip, again, if you buy into selling to a first-time homeowner, then you know that you're giving them a product that's going to cost more in the future. So you can kind of, if you want to be a little greedy, you know, if you want to be a little greedy, you can kind of push that price up a little higher because you know it's going to appreciate you more. Or you can leave a lot of skin on the bone today. I still love that house. You make a good check that day, but they know that they're going to have a lot of growth in there. And that's going to make it more uh, appealing to, to invest in that area. So that's 10 states. And you really can't see it's kind of fuzzy. I did make this Adobe so it won't take so much bandwidth, right? So um, I do have this in PowerPoint where it's clear. I'm sorry, it's a little um, blurry because it's in Adobe, but they are on the rise. Appreciate, right? Next, what make this market hot, right? So this is what make it hot. Rentals versus ownership. We already see that rentals, 55% of renters inside of Chicago, right? I mean, Illinois, right? Chicago, Illinois, right? You know, Chicago, Illinois, that's what it is, yeah. So 55%, you got vacant 11, and you got 44% ownership. So more renters than owners. Great, great to know. 
average market rent is 1862. You know, that's the average, average. Now this is this is research. This ain't affordable houses. It's just basic research from for um Chicago. Then what you want to look at is what's popular. Two bedrooms are popular. Two bedrooms, next come three bedrooms. So if you got two bedrooms and most folks, <laughs> I don't know what they're doing, but hey, they got a big family and they understand a two bedroom house. And hey, if you can give them a three bedroom that's even better. I'm sure they'll like it. And I bet we, right after we get through with them, they're going to want three or four bedrooms. But this is what's showing popular the home size, two bedroom house. When you look at the Chicago, Illinois market analysis for this part, the homes, the average home value is $330,000. All right, $330,000 is how much a market value home value. That's what the, the, the market says. It's the average, which is great, which is great, right? So we just showed you that. Let's go back. That's the average money you make. Here's their size. And we already know they're smaller houses. I mean, uh, they don't make much money in Chicago, right? We know that. We know that to be true. Sorry, make sure I'm trying to log in. Okay, I'm sorry. I think it's good. All right, so let's look at this. Home prices. So you have 1 million, over 1 million homes and apartments all together, right? And then when you look at the highest number, 24%, 0.6, uh, 250,000 to 375,000 home prices. Then you look at 125,250, right? So that's when you look at the second number. So those two numbers are pretty good, key right there. When you look at the average home prices and how much home selling for, you know, the value is right up in there. You know, if you get a house for a hundred thousand and you fix it up within a hundred thousand, you know you got some skin on the bone at the end. That's how you buy a house for a hundred thousand, you put a hundred thousand in it, you still on, on the high end, on the bottom, two hundred fifty thousand dollars that house is sell for, right? And we are saying the average house, the average home values are three hundred thirty. Not to mention you got the two fifty to three seventy five, so it possibly could be up in this number too. But this on a worst case scenario, two fifty. You see how you build money with the bird strategy? That's why we have a bird, right? After you wholesale so many properties, you buy a property, you cherry pick, keep a property. Then you want to use the burn method to refine, uh, to build it up, rehab it, to rent it out, refinance it. And now once you refinance it, you have this large sum of equity in it. You do a cash out refi and get all your money back and pay off everything you put into that property. And then you have a house with equity and it's steady making money as a rental property, right? So it's good to know that strategy. I know that saying it that fast don't make sense to you, but it is real. It's real. All right, let's talk about um, homes are older, but does that really matter? Now, <laughs> we look at the houses, right? The newer homes are 11%. The older homes are at 40%. So we know the housing are whole old there. Does that really matter? If the house got good structure, a good foundation, good bones, if the electric working well, then plumbing is easy to replace. Um, you know, it may be a little expensive, but it ain't that hard to replace. And when you talk about drywall, it's just drywall. That's all it is, drywalls and windows and doors, guys. A house is nothing but a box. It's just a square box. And the most important thing is having that solid foundation, having some good bones in that thing, structure, and having a roof on it. Everything else is really easy peasy. It really is, right? So let's think about that. Uh, single families, types of homes, right? You got a lot of single families at 26%, but you got majority small apartment buildings and apartment complexes. That's what majority. So this is where you know your money come in at. By the fair house, I mean, by doing the, the affordable housing strategy, you, right here is a key. This is a key. Most folks is in apartments and small apartment buildings. Then when you got single family homes, people that want their own yard, their own space, they don't want to be having people above them, below them, beside them. They don't want to worry about parking in a uh, apartment complex where you know that your window your doors keep on getting deeded because people hitting your doors. I stayed in an apartment complex for a very short period of time. It was horrible. I didn't like any of it. Right. So if this is majority of Chicago and this is a small percentage, you're offering something that everybody else not offering. Think about that. 
All right, greatest Chicago income. All right, so these are the places that got the most income growth, right? So in the last five years, these are the cities, the streets, the areas that you probably want to invest in. You know that the money is going that way, right? It's important to know where the money is going. You want to follow the money or you want to get ahead of the money, right? You want to follow the money, you want to get ahead of it. So, you know, in the last five years, here's places that people been investing or people been moving to and this is where the money is going, right? It's important to know that. Now let's talk about 2 million, 2.6 million population. And that population, let's break it down. You have majority, the biggest number is 26%, 35 to 54, 35 to 54 years old. The next, 19%, 25 to 34. We already know that majority of the people inside of Chicago, Illinois, are renters. Now we're looking at the age group that's mainly renting. It's, it's not going to change. Nothing's going to change anytime soon. Guys, this is the, I'm, like I said, I'm not here to tell you what to think. You be the judge based off these numbers. You got 25 to 34-year-olds, 19%. Then you got 35 to 54-year-olds, 26%. These are all big-time renters. And then you got the 12% that's leaving the soon. All right, they're over 65. I mean, I don't know too many folks that, that hang around much longer after that, right? So we know that that's that probably be the homeowners right there. Those probably be the homeowners, all right? Then you got a couple 55 to 64. And I bet you nine times 10, they homeowners. Most of these are renters. Just my numbers, right? But you be the judge. All right. So we already said that we're not, not as much money, all right? Not much money. And because of not much money, they got 17% property. That's why we like affordable houses. Not much money per capita, right? 37000 I mean, $41,000. Not much money. The average household. $65,000. We already said the house, the average house sell for $300,000. If you're making $65,000, you can't afford a $330,000 house, bottom line. So that's why it's under the property. That's why affordable houses is a solution for the market. That's a solution, right? Now, this is a, this is a whammy right here. <laughs> All right, Caucasian, 33%. African-American, 28%. All right, Latinos, 28%. So like I said, it's a diverse, diverse group, but actually Caucasians outnumbers everyone else. Bottom line. All right, cool. All right, again, a pretty picture showing y'all the safest neighborhoods. Safest neighborhoods spelled out right there. So for those who said, I don't want to be in bad neighborhoods, here's a list of the safest neighborhoods to invest in. Same picture y'all already seen, the beautiful water, most of the population right there for the rentals. Right? Uh, why does market will work? Why does market will work? We showing y'all again, safest Chicago neighborhoods, and then we showing y'all the best school systems. So why is this important? Why do I wanna highlight this? For one, if you wanna do fix and flip, I don't recommend it in this time of the, um, investing season. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't recommend it, but some people just love to do fix and flips. But if you want to, you like to have great school systems and you like desirable areas to live and then you like shopping centers and a lot, a lot, right. You know, so this is why I put this here. For folks that like fix and flip, this is great to know what school system they saying is are good and safe. And then, Hey, what neighborhoods are good and safe. And if you put that together and you got some shopping centers, great place to fix it. Perfect place to fix and flip. Perfect. All right. All right. We have the factors. All right. So we have to factor this as well. Crime, 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 crime. All right. You do want to know where the bad people at. Uh, Illinois is better. Chicago, a hey, not so good, right? So compared Chicago is in Illinois, that area is the worst area, right? So Chicago as a whole, uh, one in 42 crime, right? One in 42, whereas in Illinois as a whole, one in 67. Right. So we do want to be aware of that and be um and kind of know what's going on around. Now, why do why I put this here? Because we our exit strategy, our exit strategy is Section 8 housing. So I wanted to give out the list how it works. You know, they apply to get interviews, they uh, attend a voucher briefing, um, they select a unit. After they select the unit, the tenant requests approval for the state that unit. 
Hey, the inspection happened to the unit to say the unit meet the standard housing standards, which is, um, got the word for it. But basically it's the federal law, whatever the federal government say the standard should be. Then they determine the rent amount. Again, if your house is in A1 condition, you're getting full market rent. Full market rent if it's in A1 condition. If it's in partial, you get rent. You get market rent, right? Not full, but you get good rent. I promise you they give you good money for helping somebody with homes. Um, the, the tenant sign a lease, they move in, you start collecting rent. And if you want, you, you want to include the utilities, you get the rent and the utilities. And that's it. Real simple rules. Um, I actually gave you the zip codes, everything. All right. So this PowerPoint kind of help you to get really intentional if you want to invest in Chicago and where is that and why. And then you can got, you know, Section 8 and the hood and all other stuff that you can work with. Now, let's talk about it. Is Chicago short of affordable housing? Heck yeah, it is. All right. So according to this, this is all off the Internet. Just cut and paste. Ain't nothing I made up. Hey, boom, I want to give it to you 120,000 units short of affordable housing. Do you see why this market is hot or could be? It's short, short, shortage, supply and demand. Now look at it, it's a housing shortage. All right, so here's another thing about housing shortage. Increased by 52%. Man, look at these numbers. I'm just excited. I'm excited for the Chicago market because so much opportunities. And this is just a, this is just a scratch the surface. This is a scratch the surface, guys. Let you read that, then I'm gonna move on, right? Let's talk about this. What if I tell you 12 to 60 months before you will be uh, able to receive a voucher, right? That's the waiting list just to receive a voucher. That's how you're ahead of everybody. Between one to five years before you even get on a wait, waiting time before you get a voucher. People need housing in Chicago. 32,000 names. God, that's a lot of names. Remain on a waiting list. This is all stuff that I just researched. I just cut and paste, Google search and cut and paste. Out with the old, in with the new. So you can take ugly, bad properties, inc um, fix them up, increase them in value, and make something nice. This ain't the same prop that I just want to show y'all some old and regular and something nice and new that people are actually bringing out to people. That's the, that's the method, right? Again, yes, it's unbelievable. I agree. Um, I also showed you all the different areas for housing. So you said a studio, a studio apartment. Now we already know the average bedroom is two bedrooms. So on two bedrooms, <laughs> $3,020 is how much the rent rental cap is, $3,290. That's a rental cap for a two bedroom studio. These are studios. Um, when you look at this one, a two bedrooms, 2,800 in this zip code. Um, three bedrooms, 38, $3,800. So do you see how you're making money? You're making money, right? You're making a lot of money on these properties once you fix them up. You got a lot of cash flow coming in. So that's why I want to show people how much money you can make in different areas, it's different zip codes, right? I, all right, again, this is where we're going to break it down a little bit more. So what I did was I put two pictures, just two, two different pictures on top of each other, right? So this is the market, this is the market. See how many rentals right there? 2,500 rentals when I did this, one, right? 25,000 25, rentals, right? 2,554, right? 2,500 rentals. Now, this is including apartments, townhouses, and everything. When I put in just houses for rent, only houses only, 109. 109. So when I look at the big picture, apartments and small apartment complexes and housing and, and condos and all that, 2,500. You go down here to just housing alone. When I filter the house alone, 109. 109. People want their own land. People want their own yards. I don't care if they are getting government assistance. They want that. And here's show you the number, 1,600, 2,200, 1,300. 2200 on one single house. All right, here's my contact information. This is the last slide. Um, I'm going to open it for questions. I didn't want to hold y'all on tonight. It's, oh, good. I'm within 30 minutes, which is perfect. So I also have, you want to get my schedule to talk more about learning how you can make five figures monthly 
five figures monthly by doing three strategies. Uh, I call it LCR. You learn from us how to do it, right? You call people, right? You call people and you refer people. You call people and you refer people. So LCR, right? Here's my link if you want to learn how you make five figures monthly by doing just LCR. Learning how to do this, calling people and referring those people to us. And we'll do the rest. Man, that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. You can make five figures. Now, if you want to join our Facebook group, Why Wait to Be Great, that's my motivational speaking uh, and uh, real estate and everything. If you want to go to five figures, that's when I get free information, free information about real estate. And I kind of keep on dumping information in there, just dumping information there. Uh, when I see stuff that I think is pretty important about banking, about money, about finances, I just stick it in there so you kind of learn from it. And then um, you can get my schedule if you want to talk about it. You want to talk about it. So now if you want to raise your hands for questions and answers, uh, everything else, um, this pretty much is the market. I just zoomed in to show you all the rental profit, all the rental opportunities. But realize out of all these rental opportunities for affordable housing, 109 to single family homes, only 109. All right, and guess what? We got a couple of those housed on the contract right now. We we're gonna add to the rental market, and we also gonna hey sell some of those contracts off to someone else that want them better than the, than the rental market market, right? <laughs> then then we want to fix it. So uh, if you look at it right here, I just noticed this: University of Illinois of Chicago. So that's why these properties is hot. Yeah, that's why those apartments are hot. You got a whole uh, whole Chicago Illinois apartment uh, university right there. Well, definitely a good spot right here. Definitely a good spot. I just noticed that. All right. So questions, answers, comments, what have you. I'm here for it. I'm going to leave my contact information up there. Actually, uh, yeah. Uh, nope. I'm going to go back to the future. Let's go to the future. Let's go to the future. All right. That's what's going to happen in the future. All right. Any questions? Any comments? Coach? Oh, Coach All right, Coach on. Let me uh, get Coach on mute. Uh-oh. Okay, wrong person. You over there, Jeremy, Caleb. Oh, that ain't me. I see. Uh, who that was, Jeremy? That's Joe. Uh, Joe? I don't know who that was, man. <laughs> Joe, that's you over there, Jeremy? Now he ain't talking. But Kayla, what you thought about it, bro? What questions? What comments? Uh, I want to know how did how did you come up with um how, how did you go about finding this information? So you got neighborhood scout. That's one of the uh, resources I use, and then I just Google search a lot of the other information. But neighborhood okay. scout, and I went to affordable house for Chicago market. Okay. Yep. It's a couple other sources I could use, but. I didn't use it for this presentation. I just stuck with two of them. Um, well, three of them really just fair, just really a Google search and uh, neighborhood scout and affordable housing. I just stuck with those mainly. Um, I usually use my neighborhood who, I usually use other resources, uh, mark analysis from um, all the other programs like help. So I, I go in there every once in a while, but I already knew that mark was hot because Joe Ladder's there. Joe pretty much started first before we I even started thinking about Chicago. He 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 found the market. He's been actually traveling back and forth twice a month up there to it. And um, I said, man, let me do a little research on the thing. I like, well, I see why he's so excited now. Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> are you excited now? Oh yeah, ecstatic, man. I'm uh, I need to tap into that market as well. You know, you know, I'm, I'm wholesaling it right now. We went out once we get our money up, you know, I want to acquire some of those properties for myself. Absolutely. Use a strategy. Yep. Oh, absolutely. It's, it's a beautiful strategy. And um, actually, um, me and a, another mentee today was on the phone with a buyer in Chicago market that's actually boots on ground that's saying that, hey, they just bring the products to them and he's going to send me more information about exactly what he wants. So we're going to have a better process of um, releasing them quicker. So I think I made contact with at least five new buyers today. Okay. Okay. Five to awesome. five new buyers. Awesome. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right, man.
Any other question? Anybody else want to raise your hand, ask a question? I'm looking at y'all names over here. That's why I'm looking to the left. Y'all names over here. All right, then I guess we're going to have a short night then if y'all ain't got no questions. Though. Anybody want to talk about a deal they have on table or any questions of anything besides this? Somebody should have been doing some research this weekend. Somebody should have been calling and make some phone calls this weekend. I'm trying to figure out what's going on and why y'all ain't. Mm -hmm. All right, so on a good note then, since y'all ain't talking, I can just say that um, me and JoJo closed on another deal, right, um, last week. You know, the money was wired to the account, right? The money was wired to the account. It's in the double digits, right, the five figures. So it's it's true. It's real. If you go out there and just keep getting at it, they come. Listen, it don't happen overnight. It does not happen overnight sometime unless you just walk into it sometime, Right. Um, I know that I have one guy, I asked for, a con I asked for them to go ahead and give me their information so I can write a contract. Um, and lo and behold, all I have to do is go on the internet and go to the house and put all the information there, write the contract and just send it. But I want the right proper spell on the person name to own it when it's in a business name, right? So nonetheless, that's the only thing I got. I do have a house that I made a couple phone call, a couple of text messages last week. People responded back and said they interested in possibly liquidating, liquidating the property. Um, my uncle is going by physically to look at the property first. And once he go by physically look at the property, I'm going to go ahead and write the contract up and just send it for e signature. So I really need a name for that person. That's all I need and I'll be good. Now I do have a name, but I want to make sure that's a proper name. And that's the only owner of that property, right? So guys, just do text messages. I've been sending a text message out the last couple of days, last week, uh, three days in a row. I did Shreveport for one time. I did Fayetteville for another time. And I did Chicago for another time. And then I started getting response back. I went on groups on Facebook. I went in communities and said, hey, I'm looking for buyers. I'm looking to work with buyers. I'm looking to partner with buyers. And I just stuck my links in there. And people started hitting me up and sending me messages and DM me. Guys, that's all I did. I didn't do nothing spectacular, right? Now, I did get on the phone and call after I, I sent the text message on one day. The next day, I called. Sent a text message on one day. The next day, I called. I sent a text message on another day, and I next day I did not call. I need to call them. <laughs> I need to call them, right? Um, so that's it. I, I'm telling y'all exactly what I did because I want you to win, and I know you can. Now, get the house on a contract. Go get the deals out there. Let the folks call you, and then call us and refer the deal over so we can close on it. That's all I'm telling you to do. We're here to serve. We're here to help. We're here to assist you with make five figures money. Five figures monthly. In order you make five figures monthly, you have to be consistent, persistence, and start a new habit. Just like you brush your teeth every day, you got to get on the phone every day and call. You got to get on the phone and text. You got to send an email out daily. And once you do that consistently, where that become, just like you brush your teeth in the morning and at nighttime for your sleep, just like you take a bath every night, it's become a part of your everyday routine. It didn't come towards your everyday routine. You're going to see something happen. Last thing before I let y'all off, I'm going to let y'all off. When you ride a bike, you don't just jump on a bike and just take off. <laughs> you just don't do it unless you got these little mopeds or something. We got to press the gas. So what you do is you take, get on a bicycle, start paddling, and you start paddling. And once you get in a habit, you start moving, right? That's what this business is like. You have to start, you have to get momentum, and you got to be consistent with your paddle. And it's going to keep on flowing. And things are going to happen good for you as long as you do that. If you get on here and start and stop, then don't expect awesome results. Expect results, but maybe not the ones you want. Just results. But if you keep on paddling and keep on spinning, keep on brushing in the morning and night, keep on bathing every day, and keep finding a habit to type, text, or call, you will see the best fruit of your lady. You will reap the benefits. All right, guys, since we don't have any more questions, I did my preaching, I did my teaching, I did my motivation. It's been a pleasure serving you. I hope you found this presentation to be awesome. I hope that you're expired, um, inspired, motivated, and encouraged to take the next step. Five figures monthly is the deal. And the only way you can do that deal is getting stuff on a contract and move. Take care and be safe.